Hi, now in this video, we are going to talk about local variables in Solidity. So what are basically local variables in Solidity? Local variables in Solidity are basically variables that we declare inside a function. So let's say if I'm creating one function, okay, and we will talk about the syntax part of function in the next video. But for now, let me create one function by the name of local, okay. So local, and this is, let's say a public function. And in this, I'm just, let's say, returning one local variable, which is of UNT type. So here, let's me declare one variable. For example, let's say UNT A and let's say UNT B. So both of these variables that you are seeing on your screen, that is UNT A and UNT B are basically local variables. Why they are local variables? Because you are declaring these variables inside this function body, right? So that's why they are called as local variables. And this warning is there because we are not actually utilizing these local variables. So let's say if I'm going to use them, then you will not see this warning. Let's say, for example, I am returning a plus b value. In this case, you will not see. Oh, okay, yes. One more thing I have to write here. That is view. So not you actually pure. Okay. Again, we will talk about all these things. But for now, these two variables that I have declared inside this functions are basically known as local variables like in the previous video we talked about state variables right state variables are those variables that are declared between these two parentheses right so if i am declaring some variable for example u and t c here yes u and t c basically is a state variable while these two variables that we have declared inside the function are basically local variables okay this is a local variable and this is a local variable nice now, how these local variables are different from our state variable? So basically local variables does not cost you any gas. Like in case of state variable, we learned that writing to the state variable cost you some amount of gas, right? Declaring your state variable cost you some amount of gas because you are occupying some space permanently on the blockchain, on this storage area of the blockchain. While in case of local variable, that's not the case. You are not occupying a permanent space on the blockchain okay so you are using these local variables only till the time this function exists and after that these local variables get destroyed so these local variables do not cost you any amount of gas okay whether you are writing to the local variable or whether you are reading from the local variable so this is the first difference and second difference is that local variables are variables that do not get permanently stored on the blockchain like our state variables which get permanently stored on the blockchain and you will understand this behavior more when we will progress throughout the course but for now these are the two major differences between state variables and local variables so what are local variables declared inside functions and are kept on stack not on storage so what is this stack stack is also an area we will talk about this that we have actually three types of area in solidity one is stack another one is storage and third one is memory and we will see the difference between stack storage and memory in the upcoming videos but local variables for now are kept on stack and not on storage while our state variables are basically kept on our storage and that's why they cost us gas because storage is an area which actually permanently stores all your state variables. They do not cost you any amount of gas. While in case of state variables, as we have studied before, it costs you some amount of gas, right? So I hope now you are very much clear with the concept of local variables. And in the upcoming videos, we are going to talk about functions, storage, and everything. Okay, so meet you soon in the next video. I hope you have liked this video. If you have liked this video, please click on that like button. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel because I am regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel. So meet you soon in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. And do not forget, if you have any doubts, please comment below. Okay.